So the only areas left to do now on this rendering are the uh, the rims and the headlights. So let's uh, let's get stuck into some uh, some of the headlight and finishing that off. Uh, you'll see um, if you look back at the original sketch and uh, and the headlight now. I've actually um, gone in and darkened uh, that area, so I uh, selected it with the lasso tool. Uh, went to uh, hue saturation uh, under here and um, just darken that area a little bit and I want to use uh, that darker tone uh, to uh, make the, the, the headlight look a little bit um, sort of more menacing perhaps um, and also to bring out some of the highlights and the reflections that we'll put in now. So uh, if you look at the headlights in photographs there's a lot of light uh, reflecting everywhere off them so I don't get uh, too um, stressed out about the uh, the detail and so forth but um, I'll just add in some highlights now so I'll create a new layer this time I'm going to create the new layer under the uh, body layer and uh, I'll just call this um, headlights there you go and uh, what I do is um, just uh, get a brush a much um, smaller harder brush this time and I select uh, just uh, a white color and I'll go in and, and just add a few um, highlights uh, through here I can turn the flow this time up to a hundred percent because I want them to be uh, full strength and uh, I'll just go in and add some nice big areas of white which at, at this stage uh, will look a little bit kind of rough uh, when we're in this close but when we zoom out you'll see uh, the effect that it has there we go I might even go a smaller brush again the number three and it's a case of um, as I said uh, the headlights they kind of um, have a lot of uh, reflections going everywhere uh, because of the chrome surfaces so I kind of uh, be a little bit loose uh, with this and um, follow no particular pattern except for the top half of this would be um, reflecting light that's coming in from the sky from this way and these uh, surfaces here and here would be reflecting ground tone coming up from uh, below so I'll just go down and add a little bit more uh, through here uh, just a little bit of white on the um, uh, lamp there that's in the, the headlight reflector. Go back to that smaller brush. And it's just uh, a matter of uh, sort of making it look like there is something going on in there in these areas. Oops. There we go. I uh, might be able to add in just a, a little bit of um, blue to some of those uh, since, I, as I mentioned before, it's kind of reflecting the sky a little bit. Uh, so I'll choose um, blue in here, get a much uh, softer, smaller brush, turn this right back down again so I can sort of build it up slowly. Oops, that's perhaps a little bit too strong. Uh, I might take some of the color out of that by going in here, which is much grayer, and uh, perhaps even turning this down further just putting in a little bit of uh, tone through there through there uh, I can turn that up a little bit and in through there um, again I'll get uh, the uh, some black and add in some uh, sort of low lights uh, through here just to sort of smooth it out a little bit through there and you can see uh, I'm just moving quite quickly and it's almost like uh, sketching freehand <clears throat> there we go so when we zoom out you can see it's just it's just picked out those details without going overboard and too, uh, getting too careful with uh, the amount of details I might just put in uh, a little uh, soft uh, highlight into this corner through here. Oops, that's way too strong. So I'll turn that right back down there. Just in through there. Just going out to that corner and perhaps across the bottom of the light. There we go.
So that's uh, that's uh, helping to bring that up. Now the blinkers again. When you look at uh, the blinkers on uh, on uh, real cars these days, they've kind of got a lot of white uh, reflector uh, showing through from behind, as well as um, an orange glow. So I might just create a new uh, layer there, and I'll start to put in some um, uh, just black uh, rib detail. Uh, the reflect the refraction sort of uh, rib detail that the uh, modern lights have. Just create some lines across there, and uh, again turn this down a little bit and put you know, just stuff going on really. It's uh, yeah, and then I can uh, put in some white as well. I'll turn that back down. There you go, and then um, just going back to this layer, I can sort of put a little bit more uh, detail in that doesn't uh, affect the the top stuff that we've just created. <coughs> go back to that one. I'll go back to some white with even a smaller brush and turning that up a little bit, and just put in uh, a highlight across here. There you go, um, and then I just want to add an, an orange glow in there, so I'll create uh, a new layer again. Uh, choose a, an orange uh, in here, and then go back to uh, I guess a medium-sized brush, uh, and turn that down, and just build up uh, just a glow into there, without being too strong, and it doesn't need to be too much. There, and that, and that should be enough now. As I said, the detail in that headlight isn't too great, but when we add uh, the reflections, uh, because the headlight has a, a glass cover uh, right across the front there, so it'll be picking up its own reflections, which are separate to these. So I'll just, um, this stuff here, uh, I'll merge these layers back down, so I've got all the headlight stuff just on one layer, like that, and I'll create a new layer for the glass. Now the first area of glass I'm going to do is a, a darker uh, reflection through here, which sort of follows this one here into the headlight glass. So I'll get my lasso tool and just create a selection that goes through here, down into there. Back up into there. Okay, now I'll get an, uh, a nice black black, select a black, uh, get a big uh, brush, now we're on a separate layer, so I'm good to go. I'll just build up some tone across there. It's a little bit strong still at this stage, but I'll do the old turn the layer opacity down a little bit, and you can just see this reflection continuing uh, across into the headlight glass. It's quite subtle, but uh, you know the the subtlety is what gives makes it effective. And then what I'm going to do is uh, continue this line across down into here in in the form of a white reflection. So I'll, again, I'll just create a second layer. Uh, uh, it's a separate layer again to work on, and I'll create a selection that follows that uh, that ridge of the bonnet down into here, and then I'll just cut back across uh, the glass. Into there, and just follow back up around the edge of the uh, headlight. Not the highlight, the headlight. And we'll close that off there. So, uh, I'll get white again, nice big brush. Uh, we're on a, a, a new layer down here, so I can work this one uh, without affecting everything else. Just put that across. It doesn't matter if I build it up a little bit stronger than I need. What I like to do is again turn the um, opacity of that layer down a little bit. Somewhere into there. And there, so now it looks like there's a clear lens across the, the front of the headlight cover.
The other area I'm going to take care of now is this uh, indicator in here. Now these are generally uh, just straight orange, uh, so I'll render it orange and uh, try and uh, give it a lifelike effect with um, some of the dark tones that happened in the indicators. Now when I did the body uh, section, I should have actually taken that part out. Uh, in the same way that I took the uh, headlights out and so forth. So what I'll do first is um, just uh, remove that section. Again, I think the easiest way is to uh, just lasso it. So I'll go around and move, remove that uh, section of the, uh, the body. So I'll just hit delete and then that disappears. So I'll do the uh, uh, indicator uh, on a layer above all the headlights and uh, below uh, the body. I'll just call that indicator. Okay, and um, so if you look at uh, indicators, they're not just uh, straight out orange. They actually um, have a base color of um, sort of a more of a uh, well, well, yeah. I guess it it is a uh, sort of a, a lighter uh, yellowy orange.